Pick it up right where we left off. Oh, we're gonna watch it again. Get to watch this epic slam right through their fingers. <laughs> Imagine being the opponents. Imagine this happening in an actual game. This is so satisfying. The ball was pops too. Someone like Kanata is just gonna get inspired. Yeah. <laughs> More hand focus. Yeah, we gotta talk about this epic save. It's funny how the stakes are so high even for this exhibition game, this practice match. Episode 10, Yearning. We haven't even gotten to actual, like, ranked games or tournaments or anything like that yet. I can't even imagine. Oh yeah, we still have a game to play. <laughs> I forgot. Is that accurate? It's not gonna stop him from trying, though. It's a metaphor for life. <laughs> They're still losing. He's still not used to it yet. He doesn't know what we know, but he will. I don't know. Give me potential. You know, give me potential and heart any day. It doesn't matter that they lack skills right now. We worked all this out. We worked all this out without a coach. Ukai has a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> yes, they are freaks. Everyone in this room is a freak. Tanaka's a true fan. And this show you can. <laughs> they make amazing strides in just a couple episodes. He was trying. He visited your convenience store every day. We haven't really seen much of that yet. I'm unclear, is that guy still playing? Or is, it, is he a figure of the past? If he's still playing, that seems like an inevitable matchup in the future. I touched it! The fact that it hit the back wall. I mean, if he can get that far at this point, we're good. He just went on a journey. <laughs> I like that he admires the fact that it's how he just blasted right through him. Yeah, that's not really useful thought because you have the least control over that. Face. I knew it. <laughs> Feeling our ball face quota. And that's the end of the show. He just retired. Massive concussion. I think you're a little concussed. <laughs> oh no. Don't own it. Don't own that. That eagerly. What's scarier than balls in your face? Totally just read his mind. That doesn't really feel like envy. It feels more like just goal setting, admiration, but still, yeah. You gotta focus. Interesting, this is coming up so directly. But there's just nothing he can do about that at all, so. It gives me a weird sense of satisfaction to imagine that no one is doing any schoolwork or homework. <laughs> Trying to humble him, I guess. A lot of these characters are good at thinking big picture. This game doesn't really matter. All that matters is improvement. He's pushing him, which in a way is a sign of respect. 
How do you really feel? Is it that he wants him to be humbled or is it he wants to show him that he can always do it if they're together? That quick cut. Tanaka being a fanboy in the back. Well, backwards pass too. This wasn't what I was expecting at all. At first I thought he was trying to set him up as, as a humbling, like know your place on the team. You'll never be the star, but actually I'm still not sure what his point is. But this seems more like a, a, a confidence booster than a humbling exercise. What exactly is he after here? Same point. Right. I see. Okay. You don't need to chase the title or the identity. But I want him to become the ace, just for the challenge of it. It's what he wants. Both can be true. He doesn't seem super convinced or satisfied with that. You have it good as a captain or a coach when the, the team sort of trains itself. <laughs> they overcome all their own obstacles. You would think that, right? If you only you knew where they started. Other shows, the rivalry would last the whole series, but not IQ. This is his weakness. It's moving. It's a curveball. I get it though. You gotta show those high school kids who's boss. He bent it like uh, some famous volleyball player that I don't know. Yeah, honestly, I'm impressed he's just he's getting up there at all. Also, the, the perspective changes the longer you look out, the farther you look out. We're in practice matches before any kind of tournament or anything in their first year. Even if Hinata isn't the ace this year, he can become the ace by the time he's a senior. And I think I get what Kageyama was going for, trying to instill, instill some passion in the role he has to play, and that's fine. But I think that that can exist simultaneously with Hinata's desire to become the ace. Although I guess the issue there was not that he wants to become the ace, but that he was getting so caught up in it he wasn't doing his job at all. Everyone can sense their potential as a team. This clearing weakness. Asai has a big opportunity here to show him some respect and love. There we go, there it is. Take the lead, senpai. <laughs> That's a really great way to frame it. Yeah, the label doesn't matter at all. Nice. It's also not really what Hinata wants. He just wants, like, glory, recognition, and to be the last one on the court. Yeah, he's a big softy. The rate they're growing in this early part of season one is kind of terrifying. Like, how far can they take it? We covered a lot of ground in the last couple episodes. Like, so many people joined and overcome obstacles. It is 2 a.m., so you should go home and get your three hours of sleep before school starts, if they even make their morning classes at this point. I don't know exactly what it is, but that episode feels like the end of an arc in a way. I think uh, now, if I'm not mistaken, everyone is here. We have all the positions, or at least most people are here. Maybe we'll get some, some add-ons at some point. Obviously, they still have a lot of growth to do, but it seems like a lot of the major obstacles have sort of been covered, at least in these the early stages of their team practice. One of the things I'm so impressed with about the show is how quickly they're growing. I feel like it's rare for it to happen this rapidly. Like, problems come up, and then people rally around them and then they address it in a meaningful way. It doesn't mean the problems are totally solved and so I guess sometimes it'll lead into new areas of growth but nothing feels drawn out or wasted in terms of their, their development. Like I said, it's sort of terrifying how quickly they're growing because this is just the foundation. Like we haven't even started actual matches yet but it's a long show so it's pretty crazy to imagine just how far these kids are going to grow not just as players but as people. <laughs>